Hi there, my name is Lars Sørensen and you're watching this content we've created for you at CVC 2019 in Las Vegas. And here at the Computer Vision Conference we're uh, talking and interviewing our uh, delegates. Uh, we have a lot of interesting guests attending uh, that submitted their research and we want to reach out uh, to you with that. Uh, just to give you a hint of uh, the exciting stuff that's going on right here. Uh, next up is uh, Professor Dr. Engineer uh, Ali Aluhami from the Tennessee Tech University. So let's talk a little bit about um, uh, about your topic right now. Obviously you have, uh, like you've mentioned, you have a wide background, yes. uh, fuzzy systems, neural networks, uh, robust control, and independent uh, component analysis. So we could talk all those yeah. things, but then the research that you submitted now is, is a very practical thing yes. that literally uh, uh, adds, uh, reaches out to us as humans because right. it it's involves our health, right? Yeah, that's one of them. There are two more also relate to humans. Okay. If we have time to talk about them. Yeah, well. please. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, how computer Junior. visions are uh, are helping this? Okay. The my motivation is uh, for minimally invasive surgery is stemmed from the fact that the old way of doing surgery is you have to cut the body yeah. to have access to the body organs and you know, there's a lot of trauma and, and a lot of risk, ri risk yeah. and time recovery stress. So this idea of minimally invasive surgery is not new. There is the one robot that's currently approved by FDA called Da Vinci robot. The Da Vinci robot is over $1.8 million and it requires a lot of training. And th that's one of the issues. The second issue, it uses what they call rigid uh, instruments so the patient has to be in a special location for quite some time fixed and fixed yeah, and yeah, that yeah. has led to many problems so that was kind of the, my motivation is a try to take advantage of the latest development technology and develop a more affordable uh, robot based surgery and plus a more flexible uh, where you can easily reach hard to reach part organ of the body. Okay. So the, it would be like a snake type of robot manipulator instead of just a rigid one. That's one of the things we already done that and we had a pending patent on that application. Awesome. And then we have to put some intelligence in that robot. So the idea of GPS if you go from one point to another, you can tell GPS, I'm going from A to B, and GPS will kind of guide you there. We want to do the same thing, but inside the body, it's called inner GPS, inner body GPS. Inner body GPS, inner okay, body GPS. So, sounds yeah. out of this world for yeah, me. Yeah, it is, it is right now. <laughs> and uh, the talk that I'm going to give this afternoon kind of gives some highlight how, what is the requirement and how we intend to do that. We've made a significant progress in building the infrastructure for that, but a lot of work remains to be done. I can imagine because, like GPS, uh, yes. for GPS it's fairly easy, yeah. right? So it will be yes. uh, just working with fixed grades and. Right. But a human body, it's 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 it moving. We, it's, we have different shapes. Right. Uh, it's yeah. a, it's about using real time information and intelligent system to interpret and provide guidance to the surgeon how to maneuver around the body. So it's a pretty challenging problem, but we're making some good progress, hopefully. Awesome. And I can imagine that uh, you, you already mentioned uh, that also it's uh, also a cost idea. If you can it bring is, down it the is cost, definitely. you can make it available to a lot more uh, That places. is the main point. Yeah. And, and plus, it will rely a lot less on the surgeon. Right now, only a few surgeons can operate these robots. Mm -hmm. Some hospital did purchase this robot, could not use it, it's sitting there. Oh my God. Yeah, so. Uh, 1.8 million. <laughs> that's, uh, just that's the yeah. cheapest. You could yeah. go further than that. So that was the cost, making it affordable, especially to poor countries, honestly. Yeah. And uh, also put add more intelligence. So, because there's a lot of stress on the surgeon to operate this robot. And it's fully manually operated right now, the Da Vinci robot. Um, we call it semi-automatic, we're using some of the control theory to actually build a path for navigation along with other sensors. So, in your opinion, yeah. how long until we have uh, a human-free human -free operations? 
that it will all be robots because well, the guess would be that's the angle. I mean, we're theoretically, going. it's possible. Practically, because the lawsuits and liability, there will always be a healthcare professional in the loop. But what we're trying to do is make it easier without prior training by having information presented to the surgeon in real time and telling him you could go this way to get to where you need to be. That is going to be possible. Uh, the only problem we have right now is we don't have the manufacturing capability to build small pieces okay. to have the robot that I'm going to talk about this afternoon. So it's it's just uh, a kind of waiting for the uh, the industry to catch up exactly. and to build you this. That is uh, right. That is right. Well, we're just then. This is a great platform yeah. to be talking. Uh, no, uh, we're actually you. looking for yeah. to collaborate with some medical technology companies because we're using some very very small DC motor, stepper motor, and very small encoders. I mean, the more of like one inch diameter that they don't exist right now. Oh, well, so let's let's make sure that we're reaching yeah. out, maybe even with this video. This may uh, help <laughs> to the industry. I want to thank you so yeah, much. Obviously, you. it's always too short yeah, to to get right. the wide perspective uh, perspective of your research out. But I hope that it inspires you uh, to just give you an idea of what's going on at uh, CBC. Uh, thank you so much, Professor uh, Ali Alwani. Uh, if you like this video, please share it with your network because we're looking for industry partners to build uh, <laughs> the techniques that the professor and his team. Uh, uh, need. Um, you can subscribe to our channel to get all the video that we're bringing out to you there and please uh, uh, consider joining us for one of our events uh, so we can meet you live and you can share your knowledge with us. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.